Hi, this is Brian Forster, and today we're exploring a site in Turkey called San Simeon, which was a monastery and place of uh, religious practice and pilgrimage from about 550 AD into the 1200s. Now, unfortunately, there are lots of these giant turbines located in the same location. But what we're going to see is that this was clearly originally a megalithic site and then likely there was a, a series of cataclysms that struck it, like at other locations that we find in Egypt and Peru, for example, and then it was repaired during the Christian time period. So in the back wall you can see the repair work that is on the top and in the center of the wall. The rest of it most of it at least, is the limestone bedrock itself. So the site was originally sculpted from the bedrock, and it's highly unlikely that this was done during the time period of 550 AD and onwards. Again, look at the blocks on the left-hand side on the top. And the fact that this was sculpted out of the bedrock. So this is what, again, we see at lots of other ancient sites um, in Im important megalithic locations such as Peru and Bolivia and Egypt, but also here in Turkey. There is the central pillar where San Simeon supposedly spent the latter 40 years of his life preaching with the Chester there to show a sense of scale. That again is the sculpted bedrock. And in behind, you see obviously that the walls have been damaged and repaired and damaged again. And here again, if you look at the upper part of the wall in the background, you can see clearly that it has been repaired. So this is a short video, part of the series that I did from our recent tour of Turkey in September of 2019. And the main function of it, of it is simply, once again, to show you the difference between the repair work that you can see and the older megalithic work. This again, clearly you see on the top where repairs have been made as compared to the massiveness of the megalithic bedrock work. And actually, I'd never heard of this site before. It just happened to be on our itinerary when we went. We were all pleasantly surprised to find another megalithic site in Turkey. And stay tuned for an upcoming video or series of them about other locations that we visited in Turkey, such as megalithic Hattusha, and you'll see lots of evidence of lost ancient high technology machine tool work. So these are some upcoming events. In March of 2020, we return for our eighth annual trip to look at the ancient sites of Egypt. Right after that, we'll be going to Israel to look at megalithic um, examples, as well as the sacred sites of the Bible. In late May, early June 2020, I'll be at Contact in the Desert at Indian Wells in California. And also in June, our annual Inti Raimi Inca Celebration of the Sun Tour, including Machu Picchu, Nazca, etc. In August, our annual Elongated Skulls of Peru and Bolivia tour, including Puma Punku. And in November, our annual Explore the Mysteries of Peru and Bolivia tour. Thank you so much for watching.